Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. First, I want to thanks to our subscribers. Currently, there is more than 100 of you, so really thank you. We appreciate your support. In the last episode, we learned how to import pixel art sprites, and now we will learn how to move our player with script. We need some ground for that, so let's quickly import ground sprites. Ok, let's change uh, settings quickly, uh, like last time. Point, true color, click apply, uh, multiple sprite editor. Last time I uh, used a slice by cell size, but now uh, I will use automatic and I think it will be ok. Nice. Apply. Great, now we have ground for our player. Let's add our player and ground to our scene. Some ground. And now if I press play, nothing happens. But something will change when I add a rigid body to the component to our player. In order to move our player, he needs rigid body 2D. That is how Unity deals with physics. So go to add component, search rigid body 2D. And now if I press play, my player just falls into oblivion. So uh, I need uh, that my player collides with the ground. Uh, how I will do that? Very simple. I will add box colliders to our player and our ground. So add component, box collider 2D, adjust size, a little bit here and here. Let's say that is OK. And now box collider 2D to our ground. Now if I press play, they collide. Perfect. Now I can start coding so my player can move. Let's create new script. Right click, create C sharp script. I will call this uh, player controls. Double click to open it. Here you have start function and update function. Start function is called only once and when object is active. If object is not active, start function won't be called. Here you can deactivate and activate object. You can do that in script also. And update function is called every frame and Times between frames in update function can be different. So when working with physics, use fixed update. Fixed update. Great. Oops, so, sorry about that. Okay, fixed update uh, has a fixed frame rate, so our movement will be nice and evenly, otherwise it will be glitchy. Update function can be used for input. So first I want to make public uh, variable horizontal. Uh, this uh, horizontal I will use in my update function for input. So horizontal equals input dot get axis uh, row and we will type horizontal with capital H. 
So when I started pro programming, I was, oh my god, what is this? But it's uh, really simple. We want uh, to move our player when we press some uh, key. So we need input. And this horizontal is actually horizontal from our project settings. Input. And here it is, horizontal. It has positive button, negative button, and other buttons. I won't change them for now. If you press left, uh, value of horizontal will be minus 1. And if you press right, uh, value will be 1. So, now we will use a rigid body that we added before. Make a reference type variable and call it RB. This means that RB is rigid body type. Now we must get rigid body component and that we will do in start function because we need to do that only once, not every frame. Nice. Uh, we will move our player with vectors uh, and rigid body. Uh, let's make another uh, function. Uh, I will call it uh, move and type rb velocity equals new vector 2. In brackets we have uh, x axis and y axis. On x axis we want horizontal time speed, so we will move on x axis and uh, with rb.velocity.y we won't uh, change uh, y axis. Let's make a private uh, float speed and set it to 5.5 f, f because it's float. And now uh, let's call our function in fixed update and save this. Go back to Unity, wait it to compile, uh, attach our script to uh, player In player controls okay we see horizontal because it's public press play and great we can move i will just turn this off and see when i move left my horizontal is minus 1 and when I move right it's 1. But I, I can see my speeds because it's private. So I want to make this public actually. So I can change it in the inspector. Save this. And here it is. Now I can change it from inspector. Now let's check if it works. It works just fine. That's all for today. I hope it was nice and easy. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and see you next week.